Good evening, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross. It is 520 on Wednesday. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> September 16th, 2020. And today I want to make another video. Um, and it's entitled Evening Prayer Thoughts. And for those who don't know, and for those who do, uh, it's a good reminder. Uh, this book uh, that I have on in my hand right now is the Breviary. It's uh, the Liturgy of the Hours, in which uh, priests, religious, and lay people commit to pray to sanctify the day throughout the day. And in the evening, you have Vespers, or evening prayer. And you thank and praise God for the day that you've had. Well, uh, in the Roman breviary, which we use, uh, there is a four-week cycle through the 150 Psalms. The four-week cycle there is uh, for the 150 Psalms. So we go through the 150 Psalms once every four weeks. Uh, on the Wednesday of the fourth week, we have Psalm 139. And I love Psalm 139 because it gets at this really uh, important truth, and that is, God knows us better than we know ourselves. God knows us better than we know ourselves. And uh, many times we have strong feelings, strong emotions, strong thoughts, strong uh, opinions. Um, and the question that we have to ask ourselves is, why am I feeling this? Why am I thinking this? Why is my train of thought going like this? And um, if we try to do it all on our own, we're not going to get to the, the core reason of why we're thinking and feeling and acting the way we do. So that's why uh, I really think we have to come to the Lord with, our, with, with humility and say, Lord, why am I feeling this way? Lord, why is this happening within my mind and in my heart? Why is this affecting me the way it is? You know, sometimes we need the Lord's um, wisdom in order to understand what's actually happening to us. And, and that gives us the pause before making rash words. Uh, so today what I want to do is just pray Psalm 139 with you and uh, just realize that God knows you better than you know yourself. God knows you better than you know yourself. Okay, so how about we pray this prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, how wonderful is your wisdom so far beyond my understanding. Psalm 139. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the, as the day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, how wonderful is your wisdom, so far beyond my understanding. I am the Lord, I search the mind and probe the heart, I give to each one as his deeds deserves. Here's the conclusion of the psalm. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. 
Your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You watch over heaven and earth, Lord Jesus. Your death brought light to the dead. Your resurrection gave joy to the saints. Your ascension made the angels rejoice. Your power exceeds all power. Lead us to life eternal and watch over us with your love. May your friends be filled with honor and join you in heaven. Amen. May Almighty God bless you this night, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this short time of prayer. Please pray for our faith formation uh, families as they gather for 6 p.m. Mass uh, to begin the faith formation year. And pray for the safety of all our students, that they may be protected from all illness, all our families. And may God bless you.